Hey, it's Glamham. Have you heard about the strange, mysterious seismic waves heard around the world for nine days? Every single person on Earth, including you, experienced the world's first climate change induced earthquake. Excellent content creator. I can add to this. First, a little recap. September 2023. Strange, mysterious seismic activity going around the world. No scientists could figure out what it was. All over the world, friendships were born of scientists thinking, what are these seismic waves? What is happening to planet Earth? Well, turns out it was a tsunami in the Dixon Fjord in Greenland. Waves as high as 200 meters, 650 feet, trapped in the fjord, going backwards and forwards in a standing wave for nine days. The strength of those waves causing the seismic activity. Well, there you have it. No, not quite. What caused the tsunami? A giant landslide with this much debris. Well, there you have it. Not quite. I thought to myself, what would cause such a great epic landslide? And I read and noticed a mention of dust seen by a satellite. Somehow in my mind, I thought, explosion much? I checked out military bases nearby. Well, there's Ella Island and a military base, but it was vacant at the time and good job because it was decimated in the tsunami. I looked a little further. Sure enough, I found this. Military exercises conducted in September 2023. <laughs> Probably just a coincidence. An international training exercise to rescue brave military personnel. And I am all for that. I used to work on a military base. I was the DJ for Canadian Air Forces Baden-Baden. But back to the military training exercises. Turns out part of the military training exercises was to rescue patients in the event of a landslide. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I thought to myself, have there been any other big landslides and epic tsunamis? Turns out there have been, like 2021 when there was also these training exercises and 2017 when there were also the training exercises <laughs> probably a coincidence i know well this goes back pretty far if we go way back to the cold war 1958 in alaska giant landslide and earthquake turns out it was operation culminating point cold war exercises to practice for really bad things, maybe like earthquakes and tsunamis. So there you have it. And I'm not saying climate change is not involved because I'm sure something's going on that probably maybe makes those glaciers more vulnerable to landslide. I don't know, but perhaps it's not only climate change. I'll see you in the comments. Take care.